Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. And today, once again, I am going to be taking a look at another 2021 release, this time from guitarist and composer Hedvig Mollestad, and this is her latest recording, Tempest Revisited. So, this is more of a solo project than her trio recording, which I reviewed last time, called Ding Dong You're Dead. This album features her working trio and a bunch of other guest musicians as well. And just as I mentioned in the last review that I did about Hedvig Mollestad, her music is very difficult to categorize. There's a little bit of jazz, there's a little bit of rock, there's a little bit of blues, fusion, avant-garde. And with this album in particular, it kind of continues that trend. And there's even some progressive elements as well. And this album sounds very similar to early Soft Machine and King Crimson of 1969 to 1970. So this album is very big, very ferocious, very vicious, and really packs a punch, really hits you right in the face. So all of the compositions are written and composed by Hedvig Mollestad, and it features Hedvig Mollestad on guitars, she even plays a bit of piano as well. Marte Ebersen on Vintage Vibe and Nordwave. Torn Fornes on bass. Ivor Lo Bornstad on drums. And we've also got some guest appearances from Peter Eric Virgini on tenor sax and flute. Carl Nyberg on alto sax and Martin Mahir Olsen on soprano, alto and baritone saxophone. So these guys definitely give the music more of a King Crimson edge, or certainly the early King Crimson of the late 60s to the early 70s. So tracks we've got here is Sun on a Dark Sky, Winds Approaching, Kitty Wakes in Gusts, 418 Stairs and Storms, and High Hair. So there's not really a lot of tracks on this album, but they're very long and they're very ferocious. And as I mentioned earlier, really, really pack a punch. And as I said, it's very close to the old fashioned progressive rock genre of the late 60s to the early 70s with King Crimson and Soft Machine. And it's a very enjoyable album. And as I said, if you've ever seen Hedwig Mollestead live, she's really, really loud. <laughs> Pin to the walls loud, shall we say. So standout tracks for me, I'd say, is Sun on the Dark Sky, Kitty Wakes in Gusts, 418, Stairs in Storms, and High Hair. But it's a very enjoyable album. If you're a fan of guitar playing, or if you like that old school, progressive sort of rock style, this is definitely the album for you. And like I said, it's a very fun album, very ferocious, very big. It's got a very big sound and it's just very, very enjoyable. Really enjoyed this album a lot. And Hedrick Mollestad, in my opinion, really embodies the spirit of all of the great guitar players, but still sounding very much like her own person with her own original voice. And as I said before, I compare her more to the legendary Terge Ripdale, you know, just very, very out there sort of playing and the music's very out there too so as i said there's a bit of everything going on in this album and she combines all of the genres into one very unique package so there you have it tempest revisited highly recommended if you're a fan of great guitar playing and you just like to hear lots of shops this is definitely the one for you so that's going to be it for me i'm going to wrap this up now What's your favourite track from Hedrick Mollister, Tempest Revisited? Is it Sun on a Dark Sky, Winds Approaching, Kitty Wakes in Gusts, 418, Stairs and Storms, or High Hair? Or do you just enjoy the entire album from start to finish? There's no right or wrong answer. We all have our favourite tracks. You know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. So until next time, take care everybody and stay safe. And as always, thanks for listening.